Uh, hello YouTube, uh, my name is Jackson. Today we're going to be coding a 5M script. Uh, this video is for those who are just getting started in uh, 5M server development and want to create their own script. Um, this is going to be somewhat beginner. I'm basically just going to, instead of like a hello world script, we're going to do a vehicle spawning script. So the way that will work is um, the player will type in a command, like slash car, for example, and then whatever car they specify in the argument will be the car that spawns. So if I did slash car, uh, slash car Zentorno, for example, it would spawn as Zentorno. And the way that we want it to work is we want the uh, we want the player to be spawned in that car in the driver's seat whenever it gets spawned. So let's go ahead and get started on that. Anyway, we are going to start off with the FX manifest file. So let me pull up the 5M FX manifests here. Just so I can, you know, copy and paste and whatever. Well, I just need I just need the FX version. If I do FX version, well, actually, who cares? I'm just gonna copy this. It's not Red Dead Redemption. We don't really need any of these. I just copied this from the uh, 5M docs. Um, oops. I just want one client script, that's all. There. Okay. I don't think we're gonna need a server Lua because it's gonna be mostly client script. So, uh, right, so that's the FX manifest Lua. It's just the, the version is the latest. Uh, Sir, Cruelium, I don't know. Game, Grand Theft Auto, client script, boom. We gotta make the client scripts, client.lua. Make sure it, if you're new, make sure it matches client lua, client script, client lua. If this was like car.lua and this was client, it, it doesn't match, so it can't, it needs to be able to find client lua. And if it's in like uh, client uh, folder, client folder, and then client lua, then you need to put the folder name as well, but we don't have a folder name, so we don't have to do that. And so it matches, so we're fine. So inside the client Lua, we're going to register command and call it car. And then we're gonna have a function. Inside the function, we're gonna do source, which is the player, args, and then rock command and then end or end false there you go so then we're gonna do local vehicle name args one or if it's not specified we'll just choose the adder and then we need the request oh it already knows Request the model, which is the vehicle name. So request adder or whatever. And then a while loop. Sorry, I have a plugin. So this is actually like helping me out a lot. I have a plugin called Copilot. It's on GitHub. Um, it's just like an AI assist kind of uh, coding thing. Helps with coding, to be honest. Anyway. Um, it is not free, by the way. So if you're looking to get it, it's not free. It's th there's a 30-day trial that's free, but after that, it's ten dollars a month. So local player ped player ped ID, get the coordinates of that player ped, and then spawn the vehicle. Uh, all this is correct. Like this is how. Like if you would rather me type this, I can type it, but it it would just make the video longer. I don't really want a long video. So we need a set pad into vehicle. Set pad into vehicle, yeah. Player pad vehicle and then negative one. And then I think the end 
recipe is no longer needed. Step model is no longer needed. And we're just gonna trust that. So now that that's really it. So let's go over what it does. So we registered a command. The command is called car. So whenever we type the command, it'll be slash car. It is a function with source, the args, and our, it's raw command. We don't really need raw command. It's just a lot of times I just you just keep it because like in case I guess if in case you want to call raw command, you can. You don't really need it. In fact, I am going to remove it because it's not needed at all, despite what the AI whatever thing says. Here's a variable called vehicle name. And then, so the vehicle name is the first argument. So it's going to be slash car space and then the vehicle name. And if it's not specified, if a player just does slash car, it's going to spawn adder. So if that's not specified, it spawns adder. It requests is, it requests the model, which is the vehicle name, request that, the vehicle name specified by player or just the adder. Um, if it is not loaded yet, just wait. And then this is just like wait a frame and just keep, keep getting the model until it spawns. And then we're gonna do three variables, the player ped, which is the player ped ID. That's the like, that's like the client's way of saying source. You know, in server side, the player ID is source, but client side doesn't do source, it does player ped ID. The position is um, of the player ped. So we're spawning the car right where the player is, and then we're gonna put the player in the car. So then v local vehicle is create vehicle, the vehicle name, which is specified by player or its adder, and then the X, Y, Z positions of the player ped, because it's right here. And then get entity heading, the, f the way the player is facing, get that position. So it links back to here. And then true, false, whatever. The set ped into vehicle is the player ped, the vehicle, and then the driver's seat. And then you don't need, you no longer need the vehicle, no longer need the vehicle name. So it kind of stops the, like the loop, I guess, or the, or it stops the process, not the loop. And I am already in my game here. Uh, for some reason, my game is a little weird. Let me go ahead and swap over to the game for you guys. So here's the game. I'm gonna do refresh. I'm gonna clear so we don't have a bunch of shit in the way. We're gonna ensure and then, I th what is it called? Car spawn? Yeah, car spawn. Car spawn. And then we're gonna do slash car first. It's gonna spawn an adder. Okay, cool. And then we're gonna do slash car uh, izzy. Let's do an izzy. Or not Zentorno. There we go. Is that not what it's called? An Izzy? I feel like it is. Is it a coupe? No. Is it a sedan? I swear it's called Izzy. Yeah, look, Izzy. Oh, it's Izzy 2. The heck? It starts at Izzy 2. Hmm. So Izzy 2. There you go. So we just created a car command. If this video helped you guys uh, further your experience in 5M, develop, uh, 5M script development, uh, please leave a like and uh, subscribe to my channel because um, I will be posting more videos about uh, of 5M coding. I cannot talk today. Oh, my God. So if, uh, if you guys would like to see more, please drop a like, uh, please comment and uh, subscribe and all of that helps out the channel and it really lets me know to continue doing what I'm doing. Um, also, I wanted to make an announcement. I am streaming the, this upcoming Wednesday. I just want everyone to know so I can get people in and watch my stream. It's just gonna be a chill stream. I'll play some lo-fi music in the background. Uh, to relax. I'll probably code 
and maybe play a little bit of a game. Um, who knows? Uh, if anything, I might actually I might play some 5PD on this um, on my just little local host server, I guess. Or I think I'll play uh, 5PD on a public server. I, don't, I haven't decided yet. Um, if you want to join my Gilded server, I posted that in the description. Um, that's where I have the that's my community server, and that's where I put my schedule for everything. Um, so if you want announcements and updates on this server. Uh, main power and you want updates on my stream schedule that's the place you want to be so uh, that's it for the video um, thanks for watching and goodbye